Okay, I am currently seeing 1, 3, 9, 11, 12, 13 submissions, and there are 15 of you. Come on, guys. This was due yesterday. If we don't get 100% participation, we won't get any extra funding from the district. Uh, come on. Now we won't get those textbooks for U.S. history. I'm so tired of those online textbooks. John, where is yours? I just submitted a turning refresh. Mm. Okay, great. Ben, I don't see yours. What? Essay? Um, my dog is. The essay is submitted online. My dog ate my computer. Really? Okay. Can you stay after school today? We can get it done and you can use my computer. Yeah, okay. Great. May I have your attention, please? I have just gotten an email from the office that they are starting a competition. Let's see, every second period class will plan and hold a fundraiser, and the class that raises the most money for the school will earn a prize of, listen to this, $2,000. How about that, huh? So apparently we're supposed to come up with a fundraiser as a class, but you know what? I have an even better idea. You're all going to come up with your own fundraiser. Um, Mr. Starn, I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's a very good idea, Jenna. In fact, why don't you all stop doing what you're doing right now and think about what you're going to do for your fundraiser. But this assignment is due today, and I still don't think that letting everyone choose their own fundraiser is a very good idea. Wrong. It is a very good idea. Letting the class choose their own fundraising type would be beneficial to both the class and the individual student. Exactly. Thank you, Wilson. Also, will there be a reward for the highest earning student? What? No. Maybe. Uh, I'll think about it. All right. Let's get to work and show this school who is boss. Yes! What? See, most teachers, they treat their kids like kids. But I do it differently. We're a family. My kids make decisions. They have freedom. They teach themselves, really. I'm just a tool for education. Mrs. Scarn? Yes? Can we work on groups in this project? No, this is an individual project. But, uh, and hear me out, working in groups can increase productivity, which can make us more money, so we can win the contest. Okay, good reasons. Uh, let me ask Wilson Wait, first. No, don't. Hey, Wilson, do you think we should be able to work in groups on this project? Yes because there's no point in independent competition if there's no individual reward. Thank you, Wilson. So we can work in groups? Fine. Thank you, Mr. Scar. We are going to win by a landslide. I have a foldable lemonade stand that has been sitting in the corner of my room just for this occasion. 
It's been sitting there for the past three years. It's just a folding table. So, what do you think? I don't know. We could get a lot of money, but I don't like the idea of having to stand around, around all day watching cars. Okay. Do you have any ideas? I was thinking movie night. We can invite people to watch a movie and they pay for concessions. Like a drive-in, but at school. Hmm. Where do you think it should be? My mom works here, remember? We could get permission to project it on the back wall and I'm sure we can get permission to sell stuff too. Cool. Yeah. It'll be fun. Hello. You working with anyone? No. Okay. Just ask him. over. I'm gonna go home, get some rest, grade some papers. Not really though. I let them grade their own papers. I make the papers though. See there's this website, uh, Quizlot, Qu Quizly, Quizla. I take the questions off there. It's a great resource. am I gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to my kids' fundraiser. Gotta support the team, moral support, very important. Anyway, uh, see you guys tomorrow. This evening when I got home, I dusted out the lemonade stand and brought it out. It's surreal to think that after spending three years in my room, I can finally move out. But, of course, I'm gonna have to put it back when I'm done. Hello, Wilson. Hello, Alice. Do you need assistance? I appreciate your assistance. Lemonade. Fire and lemonade? Lemonade? This isn't working. Duh, you're too soft. I'm not soft. Yes, you are. Watch this. Hey, buy or lemonade? Hey, if you don't, I will personally track you down it. Wilson is a wonderful and talented person, but Sometimes he can be really annoying. You think we can use this? No, I think we can use that. What do we have here? Oh, uh, Mr. Scarn. Hi. Hello, hello. Let's see, let's see. Streamers. Are you having a party? What? Can I come? We're not having a party. Yes, you are. You've got all the essentials. We're not. Fine, we're having a party, but it's family only. Then I can come then. What? No, no. We're a family. Come on. It's like I'm the dad, the daddy of the classroom. I don't think it works that way. John? Huh? Yeah? How's the relationship going? What relationship? Come on. You know what I'm talking about, John. I really don't. You guys are dating. 
Um, we're not... We're not dating. I always thought you were. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. Um, did we get that? Get what? Oh god. Mr. Scarn- Oh, what a cutie. What's his name? Her name is Lady Princess. Oh, um, uh, could I interest you in purchasing some of our lemonade? It's only a dollar per cup. You know what? Sure. Is that it? That'll be 35. Sorry about that. Oh god! No, don't pour water on it, it'll make it worse! <laughs> Run! Maintain order! Maintain order! Maintain order! Maintain order! Maintain order! Yeah. Are you okay? No. Okay, good, good. Everybody calm down. Okay. Uh, what was I selling? Pens? Ben's got the best pens! <laughs> okay, why didn't anybody turn in their assignment that was due last Friday? You said we had to stop working on them so we could work on our fundraisers. Mm, no, I, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. John, help me out here. Did I say- yep, you did. Dang it. Well, I don't remember saying it, so I probably didn't say it. But I'll be taking late assignments from this point forward. Did you get all the posters? I'm pretty sure there isn't a poster every single student in the school at this point. That's great. Yep, and guess the best part. What? I put two stacks of them in Wilson's backpack. Wow, did he even notice how heavy it was? Nope, just kept on walking. Two cups? It'll be two dollars. All right. There is absolutely no way that we don't win this contest. I cannot wait to see the look on John's face when we win. That'll be three dollars. Thanks. There's no way we don't win this. I know, right? I can't wait to see the look on Wilson's face when we win. Am I late? Not at all. Um, I think we're cutting in line. What? Who's cutting in line? Come on, don't cut in line! It wastes people's time and their patience. Okay, I think I solved it. What do you want? What? What? Snacks, drinks. Uh, there's this drink, uh, orange juice mixed with vodka. I think it's called an orange juice, orange, uh, orange vodjuska. You know it's a rock. What? No alcohol, this is a party! This is a school party, sir. We don't serve alcohol. You know what? We're very sorry, Mr. Skarn. We totally forgot to bring some alcoholic beverages. Um, next time, though, we'll totally bring some. Yeah, can't believe it. You still want to get something? No, thanks. By the way, How's the party? What party? Oh, that party. Yeah, it was good. Hey, move it. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later.
Oh, look, the results from the fundraiser came in. Did we win? One second. Uh, yes, we did win. Yes. Woo! 14th place. Hey, come on, it's not that bad. There's 39 teachers in the school. That's top 50%. Who got first place? Um, Mrs. Pierce's class. So that means they get the $2,000? What $2,000? You said that the winner gets $2,000. Oh, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. They want the winner to give the money back to the school anyways. They thought the class that won could design and build that lounge thing they were talking about building. Cool. So we get a new lounge? Oh no, that's teachers only. Listen, don't worry. I have a prize for the person in the class who raised the most money. Yes. What is it? The Spare U.S. History textbook. The winner doesn't have to access the online version anymore. Thank you. What are you doing? Claiming my prize. I never said it was yours. But I won. No, you didn't. Oh. Ben? Who won the class prize? Right here. No, thanks. No, take it. No, I'm, I'm it's really, it's fine. Ben, I insist. Oh, well, nice. You good? You don't. No, it's really tough. You don't want it. Your loss. Can I have it? Ben has just become my second least favorite person ever. The first is Ryan from The Office. Hey, what? How did you do it? Uh, sold stuff? I don't know. What did you sell? Um, uh, pens. Pens. Interesting. I'll take note of that. 